12, we will be creating some very simple achievement examples from the system we just created. So I'll be showing you how you can create some achievements by clicking some fruits, for example. And you should be able to adapt this to anything in your game. For example, you can make an achievement if uh, you kill an enemy, well then you need to earn some kind of achievement, for example. Um, in the sprite folder, if you downloaded the uh, full package, well there should be some different sprites here. There should be a f folder called fruit icons and another folder called fruits. Um, if you have your own sprites, you can of course use them. First of all, I'm going to disable the canvas here so that I can see what I'm doing on the screen. And then I'm going to add all my fruits here to uh, to my scene. Just wipe them one by one like this. And when I've added them, I'm going to move them a little around so that I can actually see them on my screen here. And when you have moved them out, we need to add some um, things to them we need to add some colliders because we want to click on these fruits and when we click on a fruit we want to earn an achievement so you can select all of the fruits at the same time go to add component and then you have to go to physics 2d and then you go to a circle collider so now all the fruits has a collider on them and you can click on them individually and then make the radius smaller and move them up and down and stuff so they fit a little better around um, each fruit pineapple here and we also have the kiwi so just make them fit um, kinda okay they don't need to be perfect at all because it's not a real game it's just some uh, testing so to say when you have made them this small we need to add a script to them so that we can earn an achievement by clicking on them so go to your scripts create a new script and you can call it fruit script When you've done that, you can double click on it to open it. First of all, we need to know which kind of achievement we should earn by clicking on this fruit. So you can make a public string called achievement name. When you've done that, we need to make an override of function called void on mouse down. And this one is called on the object when you click on, when I mean your mouse is down on a um, collider for example and all our fruits have colliders on so this function is going to get called whenever we click on our fruit and we would try to earn this achievement so on each fruit we're going to put the name of the achievement um, so we can say achievement manager dot instance dot earn achievement and then the title should be achievement name so now we have the achievement name here we need to do one more thing in here before we're done because we need to make sure that we can't click on these fruits uh, through the menu so to make sure that we can't do that we need to make an if statement here that says if event system dot current so the current event system that we're using for clicking in our game is pointer over game object minus one is the mouse pointer so if the pointer isn't over a game object well then we can safely earn try to earn one of the fruit achievements so this is basically preventing us from clicking on a button in our um, achievement menu and then clicking through it to click on a fruit behind it or something so now we have done that we can jump back into unity and out here we need to add the script to each and every every one of these fruits so I think you can select all of them go to add component and then write fruit then you have a fruit script and then you have added the fruit script to all of them. So now we need to write the correct names inside um, these components or inside the, inside its name, so we can get the correct um, achievement name. So when we need to earn it, we need to call up upon this achievement name. So the strawberry could be I love strawberries, like this. And you have to do the exact same thing for the rest of these. Um, these fruits here. So I'm going to do that and then we are going to continue. So now I have added the names for each and one every one of these fruits so now we can actually start earning these achievements. So open up your achievement or your script and go to the achievement manager here and in the achievement manager right now we only have some functionality for earning press S, W and then we have all keys but before we move on to the fruits, I would like to add the functionality for 
um, all WASD. So we're going to copy this one and write A, press A to unlock. And we're also going to add e, uh, D, so press D and press D to unlock. And this should add the functionality to our, uh, this should add these achievements to our menu. And besides that, we're going to have our general here. And this general is going to be the all keys uh, function, the all keys uh, achievement. So press all keys to unlock. And it's going to be dependent on W and A and S and D. So we need to add A and D here as well. So now we have an all key achievement that is dependent on um, the rest of these buttons. But if I save this and jump out into Unity and open up my achievement, you'll see that this one basically has the same icon as the rest of them. And we're not interested in that right now. So we need to go back into our script and we need to change this icon here. Instead of using index 0, we need to use index 1. And then we need to go into Unity and make sure that our achievement manager has the correct icon on index um, index one. So the size here should be set to, let's say, 10, for example. So on element one, we have WASD icon, and it should be switched to the f um, not fruit salad, what is it called? That this one, WASD done. So now we take WASD done and use that instead. So if I run my game now, over my achievement and scroll all the way down, you'll see that it has changed the icon from these normal WASD buttons to the one with the cup on it. Let's just make it larger so that we can actually see it. Here you go. So you can see it's a different icon here for this achievement. So when we've done that, we need to add the app ability to earn these achievements. So we need to scroll down into our update function here. And here you can see we already had W and S, but we also need to add A and D. So if A is pressed, well, then we're going to earn the press A achievement. And if D is pressed, then we're going to earn the press D achievement. So if you save this, go out into your game, then you can earn W, A, and S achievement. And if I open up my achievement here, you'll see that D is not earned yet. So if I press D, I should earn this achievement and the all keys achievement. So I press D and both of the achievements has been earned and I've been granted 30 points for earning these achievements. So now we need to do the exact same thing for our fruits. So first of all, we need to add all the icons here. So we have add element zero or two. We have the apple, for example. And then you need to add the rest of the fruits downwards here so that you can remember where they are or you can always go out and look. So apple, banana, um, grapefruit, kiwi. What else do we have? We have a pineapple here. And then we also have um, a strawberry. And we also have our, what is it, fruit salad somewhere. There we go. So that was all the icons. So you can see that we have this WSD icon down here. And basically, we can change this to 9 because we don't need that extra icon. So now we have added all the um, icons here. And now we can go in and create our achievements. So I'm going to create one to show you how it is. Um, and then you can create the rest yourself. So if you look at the strawberry, we can see we have an achievement name called I Love Strawberries. So I can just copy this name. And then I can go into my script here, scroll all the way up. Just going to copy it here so I have it. And then I'm going to add a new achievement. Let's create achievement here. And I'm going to make it under the other category. And then I'm going to give it the name I Love Strawberries. Just like this. And press the strawberry. And then I need to set the correct um, index here. And if we go back into Unity, you'll see that the strawberry on the Achievement Manager 
has the element 7 place. So we need to go back into our code and write 7 here. And now we have created an achievement. So let's jump back into Unity to test if this works. So if we play our game and open up the menu here, we should be able to see the strawberry under the achievement menu other. And as you can see, there's written press the strawberry to unlock this act without achievement. So this is because the description doesn't have a wide enough span. So to fix this, you can basically go to your um, prefabs, go to visual achievement, don't go place, go to visual achievement, go to description, and then you need to go to the minimum size here, and you can make it lower, just one for example, and then go to achievement here, description, one. So it spans between one and 18. So run our game again, open up the achievement, go to other, now it's written press the strawberry to unlock this achievement. So the whole text is written now. So I should be able to click the strawberry now to unlock the achievement. And as you can see, I just unlocked the strawberry achievement by pressing it. And if I go in here, you can see that it's unlocked. So the last thing you need to do is basically to write the rest of these achievements here. Uh, I'm not going to show you how to do that, but you can write the rest of them and exactly the same way as we did. And then everything should be working. So I'm just going to skip to the part where I've done that. So now I've added all the information. I've created an achievement for each and every one of the fruits by looking at the name of each achievement out here and finding the correct icon here in the uh, sprites uh, array. And then I created the fruit salad, which is dependent on all the above. Um, zoom in here so you can see so then I create the full cell here which is dependent on all of the above achievements so I have all my fruit achievements here where I tell how many points they're worth and what icon to use and the only difference between fruit cell and the others uh, is that we just added some extra achievements here to be dependent on if we save this and jump out into unity we should be able to see our achievements if we open up pressing I have all our general achievements and in here we have all our fruit salad achievements with the correct, or the fruit achievements with the correct points and everything. So I should be able to earn these by clicking. And as you can see, as I click them, they fade into the screen and I earn these achievements. Now I only need to press the kiwi. And I, when I press the kiwi, as you can see here, I should earn the fruit salad. So I press the kiwi and I just earned the fruit salad as well. So that's it for now for these. Uh, tutorial series. If you have any suggestions you would like to add to this to, um, this uh, achievement system uh, or any requests, anything, then just uh, write a comment and I'll see what I can do to work it into this achievement system. And of course if you have any problems with it, just uh, place a comment as well, then we'll, s we'll figure out what's wrong. Uh, if you want to support me again, then please go and download this uh, project with all the sprites and all line comments and everything is of course also going to be included in uh, the project and all the sprites and everything you are going to get down you can use for commercial products as well you can use them for uh, whatever you want to so thank you very much for watching